Um, okay, let's do this song. Yes, I like this song. <laughs> That's and we hope you do too. <laughs> and it goes a little something like this. <laughs> Thank you, that was for us. <laughs> As shall be the remainder of the set. Uh, this next song was written for an online songwriting competition. They're either fans of competition or being online. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're temperance brigade members who are already suffering withdrawal. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, some of you obviously are familiar with it. There's a competition called Masters of Song Fu, which would pit songwriter against songwriter, uh, writing around various themes or ideas. And the round this song came out of uh, was us versus one Jonathan Colton. Ooh, that's right. I know. So we were pitted against him, and the particular pit that we were in with him was the theme ingredient for this round, the final round, was you had to write a song in the style of your opponent. Right. We had the responsibility of writing a Jonathan Colton style song. Jonathan had a different kind of responsibility. And Jonathan won. And he deserved to. <laughs> We'll just tell you the title of his song in our style, and you will probably agree. Big Dick Farts a Pulp. <laughs> right between the eyes. But we're still very proud of this. Um, we're, we're big Jonathan Colton fans, um, as well as being friends of his, and it was a real pleasure and challenge to try to produce that Jonathan Colton feeling in a song, because we're used to just, you know, making dick jokes. Yeah. <laughs> we so, had to write an actual song. Yeah. Uh, so this, uh, our song in Jonathan's style, is about a mad scientist. Surprise. <laughs> who is sad. <laughs> After you hear this song, you can pretty much skip 80% of tomorrow night's concert. <laughs> We've heard a new album and you haven't. <laughs> wow, you are a dick. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, we, we hope you like this song. It's, it's another one of our favorites. This is called Live. I've worked so long every night and been through hours and hours of research and dozens of graves. The perfect girl turns out was just too hard to find. So I had to make her, but can I make her mine? Will she be friendly or will she break free? Will she terrorize the villagers? Will she notice me? Finally, a someone who might love me for me. She holds my heart like the way that I held hers. The one from the cadaver Igor just disinterred. Left nothing to chance now. Double checked every stitch. The Tesla coils are charging up. Igor, throw the switch. Hard work and sight. Now 
here they come. Sounds like the rabbits roused again with their torches and their pitchforks about to break in. There's just no point in trying to make them understand.